Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. Today, our project is inspired by those teeny tiny, crunchy and slimy creatures that live among the plants and earth. I'm talking about bugs. Sometimes we find bugs to be creepy and gross, but really they are helpful critters and often very beautiful. They come in a variety of colors, textures, and shapes that are very interesting to draw. Now, there is over 900,000 types of bugs out there, so we get to be a little picky and choose to draw some of our favorites today. So what you're going to need today for our project is a piece of paper. You're also going to need a pencil and then something to color with. And I will probably color with crayons today. But before we draw our bugs, um, we're not just gonna draw our bugs all over the page. We want to um, be able to study our bugs and look at them and their beauty. And the best way to do that is to have your bugs in a jar. Now, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I have um, uh, caught caterpillars or butterflies in jars and it's really fun to kind of create this cute little habitat for them with some rocks and some plants so they can live in there for a little bit while you look at them before you want to let them go back into the wild. So we're gonna do a couple bugs in a jar today. So we'll make a little habitat in our jar and add in some bugs, but we first need to start with our jar. So we're gonna pick up our pencil and we're gonna start with our jar drawing so we can add in our bug details afterwards. And we're gonna start kind of at the top of our jar. We're just gonna draw a straight line and this is where the lid is gonna be. So it's gonna be kind of a straight line right in the middle of your paper. And go ahead and go to your uh, left side. And from that straight line, we're gonna curve, uh, do like a diagonal line, just for a short little amount. And then we're gonna turn and kind of create like a, uh, a curve here in our line. And it's going to head straight down vertically. Almost to the bottom of the page. So we just did a straight line and then kind of did a sloping diagonal line and then curved it around into a straight line. Now we've done one side of our jar and we're gonna wanna do the other side the same way. So take your pencil and um, do another kind of diagonal line and then curve and start to head down straight. And try and end your line about in the same place you ended the one on the other side. Now we're almost done with our jar. We have um, three sides done. We just need to add our bottom. So in order to make our jar look kind of round, we're going to um, make our bottom line also sort of curved. So from one side, we'll start here on the left. You're gonna do kind of a curved line, kind of like a smile that's going to curve up and connect on the other side there. So now we have kind of our jar shape. And the last thing we need to do to make it look like a jar is to add our lid. Kind of right where we had started on this straight line. That's gonna be where our lid is. We already have one of the parts done. So we need to draw the sides of our lid here. So we're gonna draw two maybe slightly curved lines going up. And those are gonna be the sides of our lid. Now we need to draw the top. So um, the top is also going to be kind of curved, kind of like we did at the bottom here, because we wanna make it look round. Most jars are round. So we're gonna do uh, almost like a big kind of long oval that connects onto the top of the lid there, these the sides of the lid. So the sides of the lid is going to, going to match up with kind of the two ends of our circle there. So we've got this big kind of long oval that we just drew that's now going to be the top of our jar. And voila, we have our jar there. 
So now comes the fun part of adding some of our bugs. So I want to build up, uh, you can start drawing bugs right away if you'd like, but I want to kind of build up a scenery and make a really nice habitat for my bugs to stay in while they're in my jar. Cause bugs need food, they need something to climb on. They like to um, jump around and uh, climb all over things. Um, and we wanna make them as comfortable as possible. So. I think I'm going to add maybe some rocks kind of here in the bottom. And rocks are kind of rounded, kind of bumpy shape. And maybe I'll add also some uh, uh, grass in there. Maybe I'll put some big tall grass. Maybe you want to add some sticks or twigs that kind of go across your your jar here that they can hang out on. Maybe you want to put a few leaves. Do some leaves on the bottom here. Those are some ideas of some different things you can do or add into your jar. You could also add flowers and flower petals. Maybe you want to um, add um, something else like that. Uh, anything green um, that you'd find outside, you can put in your jar. So now that I have my habitat pretty built for my bugs, I'm gonna start thinking about what bugs I want to place in here. And we want to think about kind of our placement of where we're putting our bugs because we want it to fill up our whole jar. We don't wanna put all of our bugs in one place. And we want there to be a few of them. I said five or seven bugs, but you could always choose less if you'd like. I would say to do at least three because um, we want to really fill up our jar and kind of have this um, exciting scene of all these bugs together. Um, with drawing the bugs, especially if you don't want to draw the ones I'm drawing, um, bugs are a lot of different kinds of shapes and you might want to ask your parent if they can help you see pictures of different bugs if you're not sure what they might look like. Um, but I'll um, go ahead and do a few different ones here and you can um, use them if you'd like. So I said I'm going to do dragonflies. So dragonflies have kind of like long bodies, kind of long um, backs. And then they have kind of these uh, bigger bodies. So they have these long tails and then this kind of round body here. And then I'm gonna draw kind of a head. And my head's gonna have some antenna in it. Maybe I'll do my wings. So my wings are gonna come out, be kind of rounded at the edges. We've got two wings on each side. We can add some like details to our wings if we want. Maybe some stripes on our dragonfly there. They kind of have like, maybe they don't have antenna. I think they have just like big eyes. There's maybe my dragonfly in there. You can kind of draw it however you'd like. Um, maybe I'll also do like a bumblebee. So I want to do maybe like a, a bumblebee flying around. Bumblebees are kind of around. They've got little pointed stingers on the end. Got kind of some wings like this.
You can put faces on your bugs or if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I think I might also put um, maybe like a um, beetle or a ladybug. I kind of want to put like a ladybug. Maybe on my stick I'll put my ladybug. And um, maybe I'll put like a spider over here. My spider there maybe you want to put a spider web that would be cool if you put like a spider web maybe in the corner I might put one right here got a little bit of spider web in there that looks kind of cool So I was able to fit about four bugs. Maybe I can put like another one. Maybe I'll put like a fly over here. We've got little wings. Maybe I'll put like a big grasshopper on my leaf down here. So I got a lot of my bugs done. I did one, two, three, four, five, six bugs. Um, I might add in like a big butterfly over here.
Hello. So I got my bugs all drawn in here. So I like to, um, as you may know, I like to put pen over my work because I like to draw over a lot of things and erase a little bit and I need to go in and erase a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, ink pen my drawing before we get to coloring. Um, but then we'll move on and see how it looks. Okay, so I got my piece all um, penned up so that it's ready for coloring. You can always skip the penning part. You don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. It makes my piece look clean and I can see it a little bit better. Um, but great, so now we've got our bugs and our jar and we can start to add color and make this look super beautiful and um, add lots of um, interest into our bug jar.
So I really hope you enjoyed creating your um, bug habitat and filling it with these cool creatures that each look so different. Um, I'm so excited to see which bugs you chose as your favorite and how you um, put them in this jar. So thank you everyone. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Bye.